that looked like a uh, pretty physical game to be a part of. Um, you know, how have you just adjusted through the course of your career of, you know, when teams really try to get physical with you? I mean, obviously you dealt with it really well tonight. I'm just maneuvering a little bit, seeing what's open, see what spot I can get to on the floor. Um, not forcing the game, I think that's the biggest thing. Um, seeing what's the best shot um, for the team, but also making sure that I stay aggressive and get into the rim. Um, no, I'm not going to get every foul call, but if I initiate some contact, I know they see see it sometimes. One of the things that, that Willie has mentioned while you've been on this run here is he feels like you know, you're, you're making really quick decisions with the ball. I mean, how much you think that has uh, been a part of your success lately? It's a big part. Um, just seeing things before it happen. Um, that's the biggest thing, watching a lot of film away from the game and um, knowing where the players, my teammates are going to be on the basketball floor um, at all times. That's been helping me out a lot in, in ways that I can attack on, on the floor and um, get assists, get a rebound. And that fourth quarter seemed like for a while it was kind of you hit a shot, Kawhi hit a shot, you hit a shot. Just how much do you enjoy those matchups where you can kind of go toe to toe with one of the best guys in the league? Well, that's what we um, that's what we play for. Uh, we look at the the stars in the league, um, the guys that's done this thing before and done it the right way. And um, you want to attack them. You want to if you want to be the best, you got to go against the best, and you got to beat them. And um, that's what. That's the only thing that was in my head tonight, just trying to get this, this win tonight. Um, not individually, but um, together as a team and try to see the best way that we, we can play. And uh, ever since you came to New Orleans, we talked a lot about, you know, end of game situations and you trying to find a balance between really wanting to be the guy to make a play for your team, but also making the pass when it's open. Just what, what is it kind of taking for you to get to a place where you're comfortable making the right play kind of regardless of what the defense is throwing at you? Well, after you see it over and over, um, you start to settle down a little bit. Um, I know the focus is on, it's really, really on me right now. So um, I'm able to make really, really good decisions and see the game a little better. Uh, whether it's me trying to be aggressive, um, always have my head up to see the next pass. Um, that's just been helping me out a lot, just knowing that the focus is on me and um, I have guys around me that can, can do things. Do you, this, these last eight, nine, ten games, do you think this is the best basketball that you've, you've played in your career? Um, I think so. Um, from a mentality standpoint, um, stepping on the floor with a, with a super focus, um, knowing the goal and just trying to attack the goal every time that I get out there, and the goal is to win. So um, I'm just trying to do everything I can, whether it's offensively or defensively, to, to win basketball games. And what's, what's kind of allowed you to see the floor the way you have? Seems like that's also going up uh, like another level in this last, you know, like I said, last eight, nine, whatever it is. Uh, Fam, consistency in our offense. Um, we we run um, some things where I get to see the same pictures sometimes, and I know um, all my outlets on the floor. So I think it's important for me, especially when I get to see two and three um, every single night. Um, I'm just going back and watching film on um, previous games and just seeing where my, my outlets are on the floor. Brandon, uh, when you played the Clippers last week, I mean, I don't know, I don't remember how many threes. I'm pretty sure it was like 20 something uh, threes last week that the team made, 10 by one guy. I mean, tonight only seven threes, but you still got your assists. You still got to your spots. Like, how did you kind of digress or kind of diagnose how the Clippers were defending you differently uh, than last week and still had the success that you did? Well, you know, you playing the team once you. You always have the thought in your head that something's going to be different the next time. And um, however, we didn't make as many shots um, behind the arc, and um, but we still had to find a way to kind of continue to play our game. And we have guys that can really um, get in the pain to finish. And um, that was that was that was part of it, just trying to go in, go into the um, paint, draw fouls, uh, finish over the top of the big guys, and um, look for the best shots. So um, we just try to find a way. It's, it's, it's not going to always be the same every single time. Did you feel like this game was more physical than last week's game was? It was definitely more physical. Um, with, with guys in the paint, um, Kawhi, um, having hands on guys. Um, Batum, he's always pretty physical. It was definitely um, more physical than the last Clippers game. Hey, Brandon, I'm going to assume that you heard the MVP chance, but what does it just kind of mean to you when you kind of you know, reflect on your career and just hear the crowd? 
Chamberlain. Well, it's cool, you know. Um, I know I still have work to do um, for that to come true. Um, and I continue to work. That's something I want to be in this league, um, something I want to be for my team, and I continue to work. Brandon, the Clippers sent a couple double teams there, a lot, a lot at you in the fourth quarter, and you found Trey cross court several times, and he seemed to make the right play every time. Just how much confidence do you have in him making the right play in a key moment in the game? Um, well, I trust him to shoot the basketball. I don't necessarily trust him to make the best decisions. Um, did you like that pass? I, I did like that pass. Uh, it surprised me a little bit. Um, but, you know, he's a he's a good basketball player, and he has good intentions. <clears throat> so when he has good intentions, um, good things happen for you. Um, basketball guys look out for you a little bit. So um, he just he just is a, um, a really, really good basketball player that – can shoot the basketball, but he can do other things, and um, he showed that tonight. Uh, there's been a lot of ups and downs this season in terms of guys being out, and you know, you all going on winning streaks and, and whatnot. But since uh, the All Star break, you're number one in defense in the whole season. The Pels are fifth, I want to say. Uh, what do you attribute that consistency, regardless of who's on the court, um, night in night out? Y'all are able to put together a good defensive game plan and execute. Her Jones. Earl Jones, like, uh, he's the, the head of our defense. Um, and we, we kind of just back him up. Um, we added um, Josh Richardson, who was a really, really good defender. Um, and, our, and our back line with Larry, him being able to switch out one through five. Um, we just have guys that just help them cover up a lot of things. And um, Herb Jones has just been really, really great for us, and we follow him. I know we've asked to, asked you about this before, but um, kind of the the role switching of Zion and, and Jose not being able to play, but still kind of being supporters on the sideline. I mean, those guys are off their feet at every timeout. Jose's like at the logo before you get to the bench. Just talk about maybe a conversation or two, or just like their support given their situation, and especially tonight. Yeah. Uh, well, first. Um, being hurt, I know it's hard being in that situation and having, um, you know, um, you, we all love each other, but it's, it's hard not being out on the floor. And um, for them to come in and be positive and supportive, um, we truly appreciate it for sure, especially um, <clears throat> for me. Um, I know Z's going through a lot with his hamstring. Um, Jose going through a, a lot, not knowing um, when he can play on the floor. Um, it's it's important to have everybody in the room. You know, um, one guy can can cause the energy to go really really bad, and they just want to keep it a beat, and they want the best for everybody in the room. So that's the um, that's the special part. Brandon, you always draw the best opposing defender every single night. How do all those guys, like for instance tonight was Kawhi, how do they compare to Herb and what he he brings? Um, on the defensive end. Um, I think the difference between those guys and Herb is he, he's just a little younger. And um, he's, he has long arms. He's got really, really good timing on blocking shots. Not even blocking shots at the rim, but on the perimeter. Um, I think his, his time is just, just a little bit different from um, what I've seen in the league. And um, along with that, he has a good body where he has long arms and he can um, he can stay in front of guys and, and disrupt. So um, he's um, one of the best defenders that I've seen. You think if he keeps going on his trajectory, you could see him someday be the defensive player of the year? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, no question. And, uh, Coach mentioned part of the adjustments he made out of halftime was shifting you on the Russ uh, defensively. Just how important is that for you to kind of make that impact defensively, not just be the offensive line, but you know, in these big games, showing up defensively as well? Yeah, uh, well, just me trying to do whatever that I can do um, to affect the game and disrupt the game. Um, he hit a three um, in that third quarter or the fourth quarter, but um, I just wanted to slow him down a little bit. Um, he was getting to the rim a lot in that, in that first quarter. He, in that second quarter, he made a statement of really, really trying to get downhill, so I was just trying to put some length on him and um, trying to um, discourage him from going to the rim. Um. Before the season started, I think I asked you about perhaps there being a greater emphasis this season on uh, working to find you catch and shoot threes. Um, now, with guys being in and out, your roles 
uh, changed a little bit and you're facilitating a lot. So what's that adjustment been like and what's it been like finding ways to, hey, like I can still take over games, impact them um, in other areas, assists, rebounds, uh, and, and, you know, straight together, like now, like, you know, put a, what, seven of the last eight or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, from a role perspective, maybe you were going into the season thinking one thing and now it's, it's another. What's that been like? Well, the game is, for me, is about adapting. Um, adapting to my teammates and what they can do on, what they do well on the basketball floor. Um, with Zion, I know I would have more cat and shoot opportunity just because of the um, the gravity. Um, he brings three or four guys over to him every single time that he drives to the rim, and um, I just. Every time that we step on the floor, I always get to look at our team and say, um, what ways can I be effective? Um, whether it's catch and shoot, um, passing the trailer all night, passing the CJ, or whatever it is. Um, I just try to find ways that I can really, really affect the game and not um, not muck it up, not try to just go out there and be, just try to look for my stuff individually. Uh, whatever's going to make the team better, I'm just trying to, trying to kind of adapt to, to everybody else. Do you, do you sometimes feel a pressure like, hey, uh, I haven't taken a three in a while, like maybe I should get one up? Or is it just like I'm, you're going to let the game come to you and just make whatever is the right decision in that? Uh, whatever is the right decision in that moment. Um, I got a good feel for the game, so I don't feel like I got to go out and force force anything. Coach calls pet plays for me. I, um, I don't I never have to ask him to call a player or give me the basketball. So I just, I just let the game flow and whatever comes. Um, I just try to take the best shot on the floor. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Trey Murphy pulled off that fit tonight.